Hello everyone, and um, yes, where is my one year anniversary video? Well, uh, the last week I had an exam called a placement test. Basically, it's a test you have to take and to enter your college. Hopefully, uh, next, uh, this weekend, sorry, I'll do the one year anniversary video. Uh, however, today I was looking at the app store and I found out that Geek Tool is on actually app store obviously uh, if you don't know what geek tool geek tools basically you can add uh, widgets you can say uh, as just like uh, a date and weather uh, memo um, to do tasks iTunes so it's free um, and doesn't take a lot of uh, disk space only 1.7 MBs so I downloaded and I tried I looked at the internet for more than like five videos showing me how to do actually uh, install uh, the app widget or widgets in, in general and I found out that nobody really explained it really clear so uh, story short I'll just show you how to make this app um, sorry this weather app and uh, the date and time uh, for the weather app, of course, you see a lot of videos showing you the Yahoo weather app. I don't like the Yahoo weather app because it's um, very difficult uh, not to write. I have the script, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's just it's just like if Yahoo changed anything, you have to go and just copy it. So uh, what you need, you need three three things. Sorry, you need a Safari web browser. You need um, Geek Tool. You need to install it. And you need to have um, a text added. Now, first thing, go to widgets.yahoo.com slash download. I'll put all the links in the description on all the scripts in the description so you only can just um, grab and go. And you have to download uh, the Yahoo widgets. So why should you download Yahoo widgets? Because you'll have this uh, weather app first of all second of all it's uh, useful you can get a lot of apps and third of all if you're saying this is will be an extra place in um in the desktop well i'll show you how to remove it and it's very easy to remove so just install after that you have to go to uh widgets.yahoo.com slash tag slash weather and then go to downloads and widescape weather uh, after that, you just get get it or download it. Uh, like if you click it, click it and uh, download, and then you download. Click on that and download it. So after you've done all of these, and actually you just open the you open the the Yahoo widget stuff. So it will show up here with a lot of different widgets. Uh, depends on uh, if you're a first time user. So after if for example you got like let's like open let me show you um like for example you get um open you got like these things okay so basically just uh, and you have it all scatter scattered all around the, the window so just uh, left click it and right click it sorry and close with it and close with it till you get down only to the this app uh, which will be shown like this at the first time just click the edit button at uh, the plus button and you'll have it open after that you go to uh, this like setting Thing. You enter your location, your zip code, your city, whatever. Uh, display name, just uh, okay. First of all, if you want the outside to show location and time, uh, outside or inside, I usually hide it because I already have uh, my uh, my time date and time outside with Geek Tool. Uh, use uh, Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, it depends on you. 20, uh, okay, this is all you. This is the size of it. So just think small. This is, I'm using the medium size because it's perfect. I'm using the 27 inch if you're wondering and it's perfect to use the size 27 inch uh, iMac. And then oh, we're going to the color. This is actually transparent if I can just show you. This is transparent, look. Uh, it's uh, perfectly transparent. So if you want to do like that, it gives a very pro-ish look. So go to colors. Uh, first of all, go with black, yellow, white, white, black, and then 
uh, background opacity to zero. Yes, and just leave everything as it is and save it. Now you should have something like that. If you're having any problem, just pause it or send me a message and I'll help you. Now, if you're going to, let's say the date and time. If you're saying this, is if you can see, sorry, it's individual uh, scripts. So what you have to do, first of all, is make a category or you don't have actually make a category. It just do it, your, the, the Geek Tool will do its own category. So first of all, this is what you're going to see in the description. So if you want a date, if you want to add a time, which is I don't have, so we'll add a shell. Or just copy that first. Just copy this inside the two brackets or whatever you call it. And then click here, or you can just copy paste over here. Uh, close that. Just copy paste over here. Set the refresh every 30 seconds. And uh, change the color to show your tool, I guess. So, sorry, I, I, I got confused. You copy all the whole link and uh, you get uh, you get this bar. So, if you're looking and saying that the drill looks bad, so what you have to do is go to fonts. You can download fonts, like you can, there's a whole bunch of websites uh, giving you free fonts. And after that, you just click or choose the font that you want. And uh, for example, uh, let's find a cool font to add. Here you go, that one. So it'll be like a clock and you can just make it extra big. You can change the color to whatever you want. Let's, uh, for example, put it to yellow. And after that, let's move this to down. Okay, after that you have your clock app and it will look, it will just uh, refresh itself every uh, 30 seconds as you set it. Now as for the date and uh, the month and week days, uh, as you see in here you have the scripts, just copy it all and just place it. So uh, here let's arrange them, like here, and look how it looks like that. So um, you can really play around with that and do whatever you want different angles I can I think you can do it different things and there's a lot a lot a lot of things like you can add calendars and stuff but these are the, just the basics uh, so these will be on the description of the bar now going to this if you want to hide it it's really easy just uh, say uh, closed uh, duck and it's gone and even when you restart your computer it will all automatically open up and it will be ready to be used so that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and see my blog. If you have any questions, you can submit an email over there, and we'll be answering you in less than five hours. We're looking for writers, so if you want to have a job or looking for a writer job, just contact us also on the blog. All the links and all social links are in the description. Make sure that you follow us, like us, and comment, rate, subscribe. See you in my next video, and as always, peace.